So we are given a metal ball of radius A which is located at a distance L from an infinite ideally conducting plane. So let this be the plane and at a distance L from it this ball is placed inside the medium whose resistivity is given as rho. We need to find the current density at the conducting plane. So at a, as a function of R, what will be the current density in certain region? And when, when we are giving a potential difference of V between the ball and the plate. And next we need to find the electrical resistance of the medium. So they have given a V voltage across the ball and the plane. So let's put that V voltage here. So ball is at higher potential. So let's say it accumulates some charge plus Q. There'll be some charge minus Q on this also, but we don't need to bother about that. Let's deal with only this ball for now. So we need to find the current density at the conducting plane. So it's a conducting plane. So electric field is going to be perpendicular to the surface of the plane. So if we are dealing with the electric field, then current we can relate by using current density. Our direct formula that is J is Sigma E. So that's what we are going to use on this surface. Now, what about the value of E? So some charge just so these two points we have taken just near this plane, just on the left side and just on the right side. So this conductor, it's an infinite plate, so it will act as a shield and on the right side of the plate, the electric field is going to be zero. The and on the left side, the electric field therefore is going to be twice the value it was before. So initially, without the conductor, the electric field at these points will be KQ by R square. And we are talking only about the field in X direction. Because that field only gives the current density to us. So we are not bothered about the field in the Y direction for now. So without the plane, the field in X direction at both the points would have been KQ by R square cos theta. But now because of this conducting plane, it's going to put equal amount of field on both sides. And on right side, total field becomes zero, which means on the left side, the field becomes twice. So we have done this standard problem in a lot of times before. Let me give you a number also. So that is the problem number 3.59 where we did something similar. So the field on the left side is going to be 2kq cos theta by r square. So we are only talking about E perpendicular. So now that we have found the value of electric field, we can find the current density. So current density is sigma E or E by rho and E is this. So we are, uh, because the field is perpendicular to the surface, that field component is the only one carrying the current to the surface. So this becomes, E will just put that 2kq by r square cos theta. Cos theta is L by r. So we simplify it and we get a term of Q which we don't know what it is. So Q we will get from here. So we are saying the potential on this surface is V. So we can write the potential in form of plus Q also and that is KQ by R. So A, the radius is A of the sphere. So this becomes, so we'll put that value of Q here. So get rid of Q. And when we simplify, we get the value of our current density at a given distance R. So again, if you have some doubt about how we wrote the fields here and and uh, there are such things, please refer to this problem. Otherwise also, I'll just quickly again tell you what, what we did here. So without the conducting plane, the field on the left and the right side would have been same. And its value in this horizontal direction would have been KQ by R square cos theta. But because of the metal on the outside, it's going to be zero. So its value in magnitude is same as this. Only the sign is opposite here. And here, so 
on the right side it is opposing so charge on this plate has to be negative so if the charge is negative it's going to add to the field on the left side so on the right side it becomes kq cos theta by r square minus kq cos theta by r square so second one is because of the because of the plane on the left side because of the plane the field will be towards right so both the fields will add up and it will become 2 kq by r square cos theta and once we got the field we can find our current density because that is field by rho and field we got in terms of q because that's what we are using here and q we can also write in terms of v and v is given in the problem so we got rid of q and got our answer now in second part he is asking the resistance of the medium so for resistance also we always need to connect a battery and in this case luckily in the first problem we already need to put the battery so we just need to find what is the total current and ratio of that v by i will give us our equivalent so total current now you might think that because we have found the current density here we can take small small areas here and then integrate to find the total current but that's a going to be a lengthy process you will get the answer but it's going to be a bit longer so we'll do it in a in a smarter way so we'll take a small surface just outside this sphere so current is escaping through this surface perpendicular to it everywhere because field is perpendicular to the surface just outside the conductor so again now you can imagine that we have got a relation between e and j so that will help us find the current escaping this sphere because j and e and i are related so di through this small surface so within that ball let's take a small elemental surface ds so di through that surface through that surface is jds and j is sigma e or e by rho times ds and e and ds are perpendicular sorry are parallel to each other so we can write it as e dot ds now we integrate to find the total total current and rho is constant integral of e dot ds is total flux escaping this sphere and that by gauss law is q in by epsilon not so now we have again got the term of q which we want to get rid of so same substitution which we did here so we put the value of q in terms of v so again we are going to do the same thing so when we put q as av by k we get our current in terms of potential and ratio of that v by i is our r equivalent which we need to find so from this these two we just find the ratio of v by i and get our answer